Good morning. I had a question about the introduction speech, so I wanted to um, just go over it with you in this video. So you'll see that the speech assignment is here, and it, ex and it explains what you are to do. It says find action below and click on the arrow. Either download the document or open in Google Viewer. You have no paper submissions for this assignment. At the end of the instructions is the rubric I will use to grade this speech. I will grade your speech from a discussion from the discussion board. It's worth 10 points or 10% of overall grade and is required in order to pass the course. Okay, so you will not submit anything here. This is just where I will log your grade. Remember, this is my grade book as well as your activities and your assignments. So go to action and let's just open in Google Viewer so it won't take as long. All right. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Um, oh, I <laughs> guess I put the rubric at the top. Uh, I didn't remember doing that. Okay, so the grading rubric is here. And remember how I grade X plus, X, X minus. You know, either you do really well or it needs some work or whatever. So um, look through this um, and see um, the different things that you need to work on. So introduction, the information is clear and logical. It has a closing. The speech is completed within two to three minutes. You maintain eye contact with the audience. In this case, it would be the camera. Um, you appear comfortable and use gestures and movements to enhance presentation. You have good pronunciation and grammar and articulation. Um, the language is clear. You don't use a lot of the filler, vocal fillers that I am so common for using, like um. um you have, <laughs> there you go again. You have a variety of vocal rate and pitch. The, you project enthusiasm, and you are appropriately attired. You don't need to um, have your PJs or a t-shirt on. You need to have something. Um, and, of course, we're just seeing, you know, from the torso up, basically, but something that is halfway professional. So down here are the different ways that you can approach this assignment. You need to pick one method. So for me, um, I, I picked this, the graduations or the, the completing of education, right? So um, it, it had a little bit more to it than just one event. It was, it was a progression, but it still had the one focus, which was higher education and, and completing that higher education, okay? So um, that is the area that I focused on in the model. Um, you can use an object. I've, I mean, I've done this speech several times live for my classes, and I've used uh, <laughs> several different things. I have this candlestick from my grandparents' house that I've talked about and talked about the significance of it hanging on the wall as I grew up and the fact that it's in my house now. I have a keychain um, that is um, a, a carved out nickel that has a cross that I got in seventh grade from my best friend and it's still in my key ring. So I have a picture that my mom painted when she was six years old and it hangs on my wall as well um, and it used to be in my other grandparents home. So different objects these are common um I've, I've one girl online a long time ago did this particular dish that banana pudding had been served in um you know as she's growing up so object then you have object analogy um one of my students years ago did uh, you know compared her life to a book and so everything had to do, do with chapters in the end and all that stuff so you decide the approach you want to use i have lots of just significant and memorable events that are used because you don't um, have to show anything you don't have to show anything in object analogy either but the object you want to like hold it up if at all possible okay so the key with this speech is to use just one method um, and, and focus it. And here is, um, it says, do not tell us such things as I was born in 1984. I graduated from high school in 2002. So those, even though in my dates are fine, right? I mean, I used dates when I did my, in my speech, but they were very specific to what I was talking about, which was graduating college. Um, and I didn't go on and tell you all the other um, things. As a matter of fact, I cut out I recorded that speech five times yesterday, um, and I realized, you know what? When I get to the part about marrying the first guy, the first loser that came along, that wasn't necessary and appropriate for the speech I was telling, so I cut that out. So think about that. Stay focused. Um, let's see. Oh, I need to take that out there. I, I explained to you about YouTube yesterday, so... Um, 
when you're done uh, recording, you will upload it to YouTube. And let me tell you, that is not always the easiest thing to do. So you want to work on this ahead of time. Again, if you're using a cell phone, get the app, the YouTube app. It'll be much easier to upload your video quickly. If you are uploading it from your computer, make sure you have good Wi-Fi. Um, if you are even, if you are connected by Ethernet, it would probably even work faster. And, and realize that it may take, you know, 45 minutes for that speech to upload. So be prepared for that. Here are some different examples. You want an opening. You'll want a middle and you'll want a closing. It's just basic, you know, standard issue stuff, just like writing a paper. Okay. So I hope this helps um, with what you're expected to do. This is very uh, unique. This is the, we call this an introduction speech because in what you tell us, whether it's an object, object analogy, or a memorable event, we will get to know you better. Thanks.